Yep. You're saying that right. Head trainer of former WBC champion Deontay Wilder. Malik Scott for today in Belarus. That's in between Lithuania, um, Russia, and uh, the Ukraine, I believe. I'm in a little bit of shock. So Malik Scott, who hasn't fought a professional boxing match, here he is, 41 years old, by the way, 31, excuse me, 38, three and one with 13 KOs. Last fight was a stinker against um, Luis Ortiz. He, he, he was viewed by many, including myself, to have flopped against Deontay Wilder. Go try to find the clip, or better yet, the highlight. Watch how like they, they did some funky editing right there. Um, Derek Chisora pretty much let that one go. You know, he, you know let, me, let me say it like this. He reminds me of Andrew Bynum. I've been saying it for years. Andrew Bynum, former uh, center for the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers, some rumors were over there in Philly for a little while. And he was good. He had like the real potential to be, you know, one of the top three centers in the NBA at that time, in my opinion. But he wanted to do everything else outside of what he was good at. Kind of like Adrian Broner in a boxing sense to where he was trying to do everything but box. You know, try to be a rapper, try to be this. But it's like, bro, you need to be in the ring. I kind of felt like that and still feel like that about Malik Scott. It's like, you know, like he like he, he's got the skills. He's got the frame. Six foot five during his heyday, 240 pounds. You know, can box, can move, like really, really box. You know, listen to his interviews, high IQ, you know, for boxing. But in the ring, he just be on some bullshit. It's frustrating, man. I just watched this fight that he had against this uh, MMA fighter, Sergey. Here he is right here. He's supposed to be big shit. Sergey Karatonov. And I'm sorry, listen, I've heard of the names. Like, for example, um, he fought in um, uh, Khabib's company um, promotion, uh, Tyrone Sprung, Spong, Spong. He's a boxer. He moves like Moonlight as a boxer. I know a lot of these names, but at the same time, I know I've seen this guy fight before. I know I have, but I can't pin it down. And it probably was Bellator. I'm always watching those events, but I'm never really paying attention to them, if that makes sense. Well, anyway, let me play some more of this. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. Um, He scored a second round knockdown. Let's see if they show the highlights. And then he knocked the guy down himself in round number three. No, he was knocked down in round number three. But the fighter that he's fighting, Sergey, was knocked down in round number two. Body shot. A lot of people want to say he went over there to try to put it this way. I don't know what's going on. Nothing's out the realm of possibility with Malik Scott these days. Like people want to, you know, there's some rumors going around or, you know, allegations that he went over there just to connect the uh, collected check and throw the fight and lose by decision. But he did drop the dude. But it's like he shouldn't be. But it's just like, bro, you know, I got I got to admit, it's a little heartbreaking for me, man, to see um, Malik Scott in this state. And it's not like he don't got no money. It's, you know, it's just that, like, why are you doing this? I'm sure he made, like, a nice amount of change from Wilder. You know, whatever that percentage was, none of my business. But it's like, bro, why are you doing this to us? We love you, Malik Scott. Don't stop hurting us. You know, we want to see the best for you. By the way, he runs like this. Uh, um, um, He's probably toned down a little bit. But um, I told this story before. I was chilling with with with. Um, my ex, you know, a few years ago. And she was like, hey, babe, ain't this going to be us? This, this this should be us. And I see, like, she showed me who it is. And, you know, because she was a BBW. And she showed me who it is. And I'm like, wait a minute. And, and you see, like, this dude, he, like, butt-ass naked. And he got, like, a BBW sitting on him. And I think they like asshole naked on the on, on like the on like the rug eating fruit and shit, you know, like whole asshole like on on the carpet eating fruit, you know. And he like sucking her toe with like fruit on it or something. And I'm looking, I'm like, what the fuck? Wait a minute, that's fucking Malik Scott. <laughs>
So basically what I'm saying is he runs like some type of uh like soft core BBW erotica IG page. I would take a gander. Well, let's turn it up. I don't speak Russian. Oh, hold on. I was running my mouth. What belt is that? What in the world? Isn't this... Isn't this kind of gratuitous? Like, you know, how do you feel about it? They got pyro. They got pyro out. I, I Like, you know, and it probably had to be about 300 people up in that joint. They probably were all rich. I mean, listen, you know, Malik Scott got his check. You know, I'm a boxing degenerate for even covering this. It's 1130 on a Friday night. You know, I'm trying to see what kind of belt that is. What, what division is this? Boxing can be real crazy sometimes, man. It's a real crazy sport. I'm guessing they're not. I'm guessing they're not going to translate that. Let me see. They ain't going to translate that shit. Anyway, let me show you a little bit of highlights. Um... A little bit of highlights. When he uh, dropped this guy. Wait, right one? There we go, my bad. What? Ooh. Looks like a sting. Okay. Ooh, the elbow went up in there, and then he's going to drop him, too. Where's it at? Like an upcut, uppercut, and then he got hurt by an uppercut later on in the fight, too. Did a little thing with the legs. But see, some of the shots he was throwing made me like think, like, yo, like he trying to knock this dude out, but he just don't got it. That one right there. Like, it's like, come on, bro. I wonder if Deontay was there on the Glam Squad. You think they was there? It's just rough, man. It's just rough. You know, I wish your brother the best. But uh, I, I don't know what I was expecting when I sat here and watched this fight. But uh, I feel kind of dirty. You know, that's boxing for you. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and teach three controversy with 5v360.